Welcome to another SMC technical training video. In this video, we will show you how to set up communication and control for your IOLINK ISA 3. During the video, we will show you the equipment and software you will need and show you step by step how to complete it. In the end, we will verify that the PLC and IOLINK Master are on the network of your choosing. Let's get started. Please refer first to our earlier ISA 3 video for general hardware layout and setup. You'll need a PC, software, and network communication to complete this configuration. Next, we will set up the IP address for the IOLINK Master. Download and install the commercial IOLINK Master control software and operating instruction manuals. Then, set the IP address for the iLink Master as per the manufacturer's specifications. Next, set the IP address for the PC. Do that from the control panel by going to Change Adapter Settings. Go to Properties, select Internet Protocol version 4, then enter the IP address. Next, install the IOLINK ISA3 and ISC70 IODD files into the IOLINK Master Control software. Verify that each are discovered and have the correct port. And we need to verify that the IP address is set for the PLC. Equipment settings will vary. Each device needs to use the same local area network so that IOLINK can be shared between the master, ISA3, and ISE70. Finally, to set up the ISA3 for the desired screen display settings, please refer to the IOLINK ISA3 YouTube product video on our channel and the operation manual or quick guide to further customize programming. Now that we have verified that all devices are on the network, and have set the display settings, we're ready for the next step. We hope you found this video useful. In the next video, we will map the data between the PLC and IOLINK Master in order for the ISA 3 port to control the application's gap checking.